Hey friends, today I'm hanging out at Hollywood Studios. Last time I was here, I came to the conclusion that I kind of get in a habit of things that I do here. I always come, try to get on Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, Slinky Dog Dash, Rise of the Resistance. So today, I want to focus on the attractions that I do love that I don't do that often and just have a great day. So, let's go do this. Got a nice greeting already too. Look at this, we got Chip and Dale walking down the street. Hey friends! Thank you! Oh, hello! Pluto, and then here comes Mickey himself. Oh, look at there he is! Wait to Mickey! Oh, that is awesome! What I mean when I say I haven't done an attraction in a while, I mean I haven't done an attraction in a couple of months because I'm always here, I'm always in the parks, but sometimes I'm not in the parks all day long. So I only come in, do like, you know, the big time attractions and then leave. So today, like I said, I want to do the ones that I do love that sometimes I just end up skipping. Muppet Vision 3D is definitely one of those attractions. I love it because I love seeing Sweetums come out at the end. It's a 35 minute wait, so usually I probably would skip this, but I'm making it a point today to actually celebrate these beloved attractions and waiting it out however long it takes. I remember days of coming here and vacationing at Walt Disney World and not leaving the park until I've done every single ride. I miss that. Park open to park closed. I'd go at it all day long, but that was vacation mode. It's a little bit different once you move down here because you're more at a relaxed pace. And uh, it was a big shock and adjustment at first, but I absolutely love it now because I have that freedom to play with time and enjoy all of the amazing experience, kind of at a leisure. Normally Muppet Vision 3D isn't 35 minutes, but it's still spring break, so it's still busy here. A good thing though is when you have to wait in the queue, you get to see all the cool Muppet signs that they have. Normally you don't have to come through here because you would just go in the front way. Down there we have Wild Frogs, which is a joke on Wild Hogs, and then these are some of the older ones. It's called From Outer Space. And then over here, the Bride of Frog and Shrine. <laughs> And it's Miss Piggy and Kermit. Oh, and Gonzo right there. Look at that. The queue for the Muppets has such amazing little like Easter eggs and cool references, as you've seen by those movie posters. But one of my favorites is the Gonzo on the brick wall. Look at, you can see Gonzo's, that's the pipe and it's his nose. Isn't that fancy? And he's wearing 3D glasses like we're about to put on. Of course, this one's a popular one. Back in five minutes, key is under the mat. And then you can kind of see there's the key under the mat. Isn't that fancy? Oh, we gotta pick up our glasses. Oh, thank you. That's my spot. There it is. Just in time for the show. Oh, you are not Mickey Mouse, you are a rat. Rat man. Besides, they're tourists. What do they know? You get out of here. Okay, but do I still get my 10 bucks? Get out, get out, get out! Hey, I got a double duck back here! Will you get out? Yes! Something that I find challenging with the mask are watching shows where you wear glasses because I constantly get them fogged up, especially since I'm wearing glasses on top of glasses. So you just gotta put your face mask all the way up there and it kind of stops it. I also appreciate how this whole theater is a part of the show. Like you can see the walls up here. It kind of looks nice and shiny. At the end of the show, it's going to be destroyed. Hey look! Look at the guy in the goofy mask! That's not a mask. Oh, sorry lady!
studio 3D. Guess I won't be needing this. I'm running away. Nobody would let me help in the movie. <laughs> this is a very moving moment. I love the Muppets so much. A lot of people skip over it because they don't like sitting down doing shows, but they don't know there's animatronics in there. There's live characters. Sweetums is one of my favorite characters I've ever met. He was so cool. I met him out the outside of Muppets here at a Moonlight Magic, which I absolutely miss Moonlight Magics. I wonder if they're ever gonna start those back up again. I was gonna head to the Backlot Express next, but I think it's closed. Yeah, they close at 5 p.m. That seems like a little out of a time. 11 to 5, they're only open. Park is open till 8 o'clock, but there is a lot of quick service locations, and a lot of people just forget this. This is here. Because the Backlot Express was closed, I went and checked to see if anything was open on the walk-up list, and 50's Prime Time Cafe was open. How fancy is that? So I ended up uh, joining the walk-up list. It said 55 minutes, and I think that's perfect because I have another ride I want to do. And I think we'll go to Star Tours next. This ride, I definitely skip over a lot because sometimes the wait is a little bit long. Right now it's about 30 minutes and uh, a lot of people are more focused on Star Wars Land and Galaxy's Edge. The outside queue is amazing here. I love looking at everything that they have on display. It's really cool. I wish I could go up inside here though. That would be really fancy. How cool would it be if they had a bar up in the tree huts right here? I mean, that would be the coolest bar on Disney property. And then of course, who can forget this little guy right here? Look at that footprint right there. I love that they add that in there. That really adds a nice touch. I bet you a lot of people probably climbed up there and took a photo, even though there's a rope here. That would be a pretty cool photo. What is it now? We have to grab spectacles for this ride too, and it looks like we are in boarding group A. For some reason though, these glasses don't fog up as much. And you know what else I'm realizing? A lot of the rides that I don't do as much make you wear glasses. They're like 3D rides. How funny is that? Maybe it's more than what I'm thinking. Time to board our ship. Ooh, and I got the fancy seat right here because we're going to be right next to C-3PO. It's going to be right behind this wall. Like C-3PO is like right there. I love how Disney uses like little car seat booster seats as their separators. Like isn't that so fancy? They're actually seat belted in too. I am not the captain. I am C-3PO. Contact the Barchera on frequency 429. Wait! 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 I knew it! Stop right there. Oh, God, I know you have a spy on board. I'm afraid there's been a terrible mistake. They're a spy and a traitor to the first order. Oh, me? Gotta go. Gotta go. You are a fool. No. You are no match for the power of the dark side. What? Ah! This is Poe 
with the resistance. Come on, don't damn on them. Three the other R2, what are you doing there? Well, sir, it only oh, rhetorical question. Listen up. There is someone aboard your ship vital to our mission. The spy. Is this mission sanctioned? I don't think we can do it. I love Star Tours. The only thing I wasn't too happy with is when they added the new scenes to it, they took out Princess Leia when she comes and delivers like the secret message. I feel like they should have just let her always be it. You know what I mean? I got Poe this time and I was just like, oh no, not Poe. Now I don't want to wander too far away from the 50s primetime cafe because I did join the walk-up list. It said 55 minutes. It's been about 40 minutes maybe so I think they're gonna call me any second so I don't want to hop in line for anything so I might as well show you around like you know Sunset Boulevard and oh there is one thing I do want to show you guys the other day I was at Pop Century and the big laptop in the 90s section had icons for all the uh, parks and one of the icons was MGM Studios and I was like wow I'm like it still says MGM Studios and that's really awesome that they kept it and then I was thinking like what other things hey MGM Studios and there is a statue here that still says MGM Studios the statues right here and it actually has a plaque and it's Michael Eisner's dedication speech for the opening day and at the very top it says Disney's MGM Studios and I like how he ends this speech and he says we welcome you to Hollywood that never was and always will be May 1st 1989 isn't that really awesome and our reservation time was called so we're gonna head on into the primetime cafe I love it here I missed the tune-in lounge like that was my favorite place to hang out and grab a drink and right now they use it for I think you still can get like drinks to go I'm not sure we'll find out but a lot has changed in here the menu is still the same the food is still good but there's a couple things they can't do like they used to you know I remember the waitress uh, wouldn't give me the dessert menu until I ate my green beans the one time that was hysterical they also yell at you if you put your elbows on the table like they, they're really strict you know what I mean but it's in kind of like a comedy fashion if you've ever eaten here before basically it's like a 50s mom style where she's you know proper manners at the table and she yells at you I love it this is the old waiting area and it's kind of like a living room i absolutely love the tvs though like if these ever came available for sale i would try to buy one so quick it says disney down here and then on the top it says wd videomatic very cool and then over here i don't know if people remember these top like these style of tables but this table's special because it has a bunch of hidden Mickeys on it. Look at that. And they have one there and one there. This is so cool. Our table was called, so now we're gonna head on in to our uh, spot. Ooh, looks like we're going back here. I've never been back to this side. Ooh, okay, there we go. Fancy by the window. This is really cool. I've never been on this side. So normally they have like kitchen tables where they have TVs and stuff like that. I'm a party of one. I don't need to pick up like a big table there. But uh, I really like it in here. Let me show you around a little bit. You can see they have TVs up in the corners here. And it's like a separate room. I've never been over here. And I got this, you know, two top against the window. I really like it. It is so fancy in here though. As you can see, this is like a table right here. And you get to sit in the kitchen with a TV. I love the wallpaper and the curtains. Really, really awesome. One of the best themed restaurants I think at Walt Disney World. Still to this day. I like how they have the menu actually in the app. It still goes along with how it should be. So like if you get to the selections, it says from dad's liquor cabinet. So this is all the alcoholic beverages that they have. And then up top, they uh, have everything broken down by grandpa, grandma. So, oh, this is the kid ent entrees. It says grandpa's grilled ch chicken, Gram grandma's macaroni and cheese, and Betty's chicken strips. But for main entrees, and what I'm going to actually get is a sampling of mom's favorite recipes. So I'm going to get the fried chicken. I'm going to get the pot roast. I'm going to get the meatloaf with all the fixings. 
my cousin Peter is actually going to be waiting on me and uh, he suggested for the chicken noodle soup so I decided to order the chicken noodle soup now I've never had it before and on the appetizer side it I asked him if it was like a big bowl because I know I'm getting like a big sampling so I'm getting all of mom's favorites I don't know if I can like eat a big bowl of soup as well and he said maybe you can get the kids one and it was only three dollars three dollars they have three dollar kids appetizers and I was like yeah do it I'm in here is the soup look at this this is the perfect amount for three dollars I really like it no soup for you I love soup soup is one of my favorite things to eat Italian wedding soup Hands down my favorite, and I can't wait to try this. Looks like it's got good noodles and good broth. I can smell it. Oh yeah, that is perfect. Much too good for children, even though it's a <laughs> kid's appetizer. <laughs> M-I-C-K-E-Y-M-O-U-S-E, -E, Mickey Mouse. Donald Duck, Mickey Mouse. Oh my lord, as I was eating my soup, Aunt Carol came and she yelled at me because my hat was on at the dinner table. So I'm gonna take my hat off because I want my food to come out. She said, don't think you're getting your food until you take that hat off. So <laughs> I had to take it off. I wish my camera was running because that would have been hysterical. But I love that she did that. Like Cousin Peter is my waiter. She like peeked her head in here and she was just like, hey, don't think you're getting your food until you take that hat off. Excellent. And look at that, my dinner has arrived. I went with the mash, uh, french fries instead of mashed potatoes. We got a little bit of chicken, a little bit of pot roast, a little bit of meatloaf, and then of course the green beans. This looks fantastic, doesn't it? Wow, they never disappoint here. I think I'm gonna try the chicken first, so we'll just bite into it. Look, I got a little gravy on there from the pot roast. It's probably gonna be a good bite right there. That is so good. I love the chicken here. And they ask you if you want dark meat or white meat when you get the sampler. So I asked for dark meat because I thought I'd get a thigh. And that's perfect. And now I think I'll hop on over to the pot roast here. That's looking very scrumptious as well. I like the little carrots and celery that they have on top of the uh, pot roast. Oh, that's perfect. It's going to be good. It's so funny how I'm just taking a bite of each thing. So like one bite of chicken, one bite of pot roast, and next, it's the meatloaf. The only thing is with the meatloaf, it has that tomato like sauce on top of it. And I'm not a big fan of ketchup, so we'll see how it goes, but I'm gonna try it without. Oh yeah, meatloaf does it for me. I love it. Green beans are very good as well. Everything is delicious, but the meatloaf was my favorite. And then the, the fried chicken was a close second. Very close second, because I love the breading. But the only thing is they don't give you enough meatloaf. I think next time maybe I'll just order the whole meatloaf dinner. Dad's meatloaf. That was delicious, but now I think I'm moving along. You know what I wish one day? I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna be on the fridge. So the first uh, family of the day gets their picture taken. They used to put a picture on the fridge and it would be there the whole day. And uh, I thought about coming and then like getting a picture of just me. So then I could be the single family of the day for the whole day. Oh, I feel like that was a mistake. I am so full now. Oh, it was so good though. The chicken noodle soup was amazing. Meatloaf was my favorite. I was gonna try to get a milkshake or dessert. There's no way I can fit that in. So, so good, I love prime time. It's one of my favorite places to eat. Oh, and I did ask, they don't do the family photo anymore. They actually stopped doing that, so it made me a little sad. I don't know if I'll ever be able to accomplish the single man family of the day photo. Maybe, maybe in the future they'll bring it back. Now I wanna head down sunset, but take a look at that sky. Isn't it so beautiful out? This is really nice, and now the lights on Sunset Boulevard are starting to turn on. This is the perfect hour of the day right here, folks. It is exactly 7.30, and just look at the skies. Look at the lights. 
there is a new shirt that just came out today so I think I'm about going into Legends of Hollywood to see if it's there yet I absolutely love this shirt and if I find it I gotta get it so we're gonna see if it's in there I don't want to tell you about it yet though where the stars shine and we'll take a peek see in here <laughs> nope because that's an exit only so we're gonna go on this side I almost walked right in there yep this looks like the entrance there we go Oh my lord, the shirt is here. I have to get it, wait till you see. Look at how amazing this is. We have a Pongo in a Perdita dress. Isn't it amazing? Look at how pretty she is. Gracie would love it if I was wearing this shirt. Actually, I wonder if it has anything on the back. Oh, look at that, Pongo's pins. I think I have to get it. This is $60 and then the dress is $168, well, that is so awesome. I had to get it. <laughs> there was no way I was walking out of this store without that shirt. And with that, I think I am done here. I successfully got a new shirt, had some fancy dinner at Primetime Cafe, rode Star Tours, and also watched the Muppet Vision 3D show. Sounds like a, a really good day at Hollywood Studios. I'm really happy I came out today. I didn't think I was gonna be able to come to the parks. Uh, as you know, reservations are tough to get, but I was trying basically all afternoon and just around two o'clock, I would say, uh, one of them popped open. So I grabbed it and said, uh, all right, let's go do this. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you for joining us for a day full of action and adventure here at Disney's Hollywood Studios. We hope you enjoy the rest of your evening.